friends welcome back to my channel happy freaking new year it's 2020 yo it's lit I cannot even believe that it is 2020 already like that is just beyond insane to me this is going to be my first video in 2020 and I thought it would be a good time to reflect on 2019 and all of the things that I learned in 2019. I literally had such a rough year, not the entire year, but the last like six months of the year were so incredibly like rough, challenging, life changing. And I just learned so much and I literally woke up this morning and I was reflecting and just thinking and I wanted to go over 19 things that I learned in 2019. I actually got that idea from another YouTuber. I forget her name, but I'll try to include her channel link somewhere in the description down below. If my energy seems a little bit low, I'm sorry. Like that's just, this is what you're gonna get right now. Like I can't really fake it too much. So it's a new year and I really just wanted to reflect on all of the things that happened in 2019. I don't necessarily want to talk about that, but I just want to reflect on all the things that I've learned. I've learned so much last year that it's incredible. And honestly, it's things that I've seen that can't be unseen, things that I've learned that can't be forgotten. And just my life has changed drastically and you grow from going through pain and going through discomfort like nothing good comes from your comfort zone i know that you've seen that meme before but it's true so anyways i don't want to make this video a million years long i'm literally going to run through 19 things that i learned in 2019 if you're new here please subscribe to my channel your girl had her channel deleted last year in 2019 which was like so long ago someone freaking deleted her channel when it was near 5k subs and um she has to restart so please hit that subscribe button do your girl a favor also smash that thumbs up button and feel free to comment anything down below and just join the family follow me on instagram also because i'm getting super active on there and i post my entire day on my insta stories so definitely go and check that out let's just jump right into today's video 19 things that i learned in 2019. so 19 things can take a pretty long time if I actually sat here and discussed each of those things in depth. So I'm not going to do that. You can interpret it how you want to interpret it or how it might mean to you. Like it might strike a nerve within you or a memory within you or a learning lesson within you. So interpret it as you wish and just guess how I'm interpreting it. But these are 19 things that I've personally learned. It was very hard leaving it to only 19 things. But then I couldn't title the video 19 things that I learned in 2019. So I limited it, even though I learned a lot more. These are like the key factors and the main takeaways that I did learn in 2019. So I'm literally just going to run through it and not explain it. All right. And I also didn't put it in any particular order. This was just as it came from my heart and onto my notes in my phone. So I have my notes here. You'll see me glancing at that. Okay. So... You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for all the things that I learned in 2019? Get ready. All right. So, okay. So number one, people show you their true colors when you tell them no. So if you're always being nice to people and you always give people what they want, they're always going to kiss your ass right back or show you their good side. But people will show you who they truly, truly are when you deny them something or when you say no. Number two, Family members can be just as toxic as friends or spouses, sometimes even more toxic. When raising a daughter, you are their ultimate role model. They're literally going to model their future relationships, friendships, and life after what you show them. So it's so important as a mother who's raising a daughter to literally be the best version of yourself that you can be and make the most positive decisions that you can make that will have the best impact on your life and on your daughter's life. So your decisions are no longer only about you. When you're raising a girl or even a son, but specifically for a mother raising a girl, get your shit together because your daughter is watching. Number four, surgery can fix what's on the outside, but it won't help you correct the demons that are on the inside. 
So if you have self-esteem issues, if you have any mental health issues, if you have any deep pain within your heart that you're trying to conceal through surgery, that's not going to help. Yeah, you might look good on the outside, but you still need to search from deep within to correct what's going on on that inside and to really fight off those demons. So surgery, lip fillers, Botox, all that other crap, that won't really help you heal from within. Number five. People really do come in and out of your life and not everyone is meant to be permanent. Some people are literally meant to come into your life for a short period of time to teach you a very valuable lesson. Not everyone that you meet is going to be in your life forever. And you have to learn to accept that and grow with that. Number six, being a single mother is extremely exhausting, but even more so empowering. Like I've never felt as strong and as empowered as a woman now that I'm a single mother. So it's life changing. Number seven, life happens and there are so many op obstacles that you will face, but it's so important to focus on what's in your control and how you choose to react to it. Number eight, your happiness is an inside job. Stop letting your happiness be dependent upon the person that's in your life, the friendships that are currently evolving in your life. Stop depending your happiness on outside factors. Make your happiness your own responsibility and let it come from within. Number nine, I, I, I am enough. Number 10, number 10, getting hurt is not your fault, but healing is your responsibility. Number 11, passion is the driving force behind consistency. Number 12, having me time makes me a better mom. <clears throat> Number 13, things that I learned in 2019. I have a shopping addiction. And the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Number 14, you can't always plan life out because sometimes things happen that's out of your control. Have faith in God's plan. Number 15, if you lost a parent, you'll miss that parent more and more as you get older, especially when you're going through the hardest times in your life and you can't turn to them. That might seem like common sense, but when it becomes a reality for you, it's, it's difficult. Being busy is not always being productive. Don't get caught up doing a million and one things that aren't adding value to your life. Number 17. Sometimes you have to make the harder decisions up front in order to reap the grand rewards in the future. Number 18, we're almost done. Being comfortable, just being yourself. Forget about the illusion of being picture perfect. Social media has our minds warped and I've been so consumed with trying to seem okay and produce the best content and just be the best version of me that I can be. But I'm changing that up for 2020. I'm going to be the realest version of myself, my authentic, my true authentic self, imperfections, hardships and all. And I'm going to be as vulnerable and as transparent as I can with you all. Lastly, number 19. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. You can forgive someone and not want them back in your life. You can forgive someone and not want them back in your life. Let that sink in. All right, guys. So I hope that you don't feel that I rushed through this video, but I really didn't want to make it a million years long. And the lessons that I learned are personal to me. So I'd rather just share them in the most general form possible and let you interpret them and make the best interpretation or synopsis for yourself and apply them to your own lessons in life. So that's a wrap for this video 19 things that i learned in 2019 which has been one of the most shocking most heartbreaking most difficult times in my life but we're gonna push through 2020 is here 
new year, new me, new beginnings. I'm not going to do a bunch of BS resolutions. I'm just going to have high standards and high goals for myself that I'm going to keep to myself and just rather let my actions speak louder than setting plans that are honestly sometimes just a waste of time. That's just how I feel personally. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Show your girl so much needed love. Stay tuned for the next video. Have an absolutely great New Year's. And I wish you nothing but peace, love, and abundance. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.